Brain Lesson 79. This is on finding equivalent fractions by multiplying by 1. Now, what that means is, let's say this. Draw this little picture on your um, tablet, okay? okay? And so we're going to draw, just let's break this pizza up into half, okay? And I'm going to show that that is one half, okay? Okay? Now, what else equals a half but cut differently? Uh, two-fourths. Very good. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, and let's fill in two of them. Two-fourths is still half, right? Okay, and then let's do one more. Think of one. Um, I'll cut it up for you, and you tell me how many I need. Four-eighths. Very good. Okay, now. You see how we did that? Yeah. Okay, now, I'm going to show you how you can easily figure out equivalent fractions by multiplying by 1. Now, that doesn't make sense, but I'm going to show you what I mean, okay? So, keep those on your papers as I talk about this half. Okay. Okay? All right. Do you remember that I, I used to teach you that 2 over 2 equals what? Uh, just 1 whole. One whole. 3 over 3 equals what? 1 whole. Okay, 4 over 4, 1, one whole. whole. Okay, so we're learning about using 2 out of 2 equals really 1 whole, right? Really equals 1. Yeah. Okay, now, think of that for just a minute, <laughs> and I want you to see what happens if I multiply by 1 whole, which is really 2 over 2. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's do this problem. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So we can just figure out an equivalent fraction to 1 half just by multiplying by the same number, which makes a whole 1. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? 2 is our same number, but 2 out of 2 is really 1 whole. Mm -hmm. Okay? So does 2 fourths equal the same thing as 1 half? Um, yes. Yeah, I remember we worked on that earlier. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, watch this. Let's do times four fourths, which is one whole. And what do you get? One times four is four. And two times four is uh, eight. Yeah. Very good. Okay. And those are the three that we just did. Mm -hmm. Boom. So basically, all that to say, let's do a three in there. Because we did double two over two, and then we did it four times on each other. Now let's do three. And what would my answer be? One, yeah, three, six. So if I were to draw that out, that would look like this. All right, one, two, three. Yeah, yep, you make an X with a line. All right, so that equals three, six, which is still a half, right? Mm hmm. You get it? Okay, so I can pretty much figure out an equivalent fraction. Say that with me. Equivalent. equivalent equivalent fraction okay equivalent means equal okay so let's just tell let's let me just throw one out Eli give me an equivalent fraction um, for one half and I want you to use whatever you want to but just not two three or four we've already, we've already done those two three four uh, six other, you want to do a six Okay, so let's do 6 over 6, which makes a whole. Yeah. So 1 times 6 is 6, and then 2 one times 6 is uh, 12. 12. Okay, still, that means I would have to make 12 of these, and I don't even know how I would do that. Anyway, so I would have 12 of those, <laughs> and I would fill in 6, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's still saying the same thing. It's still half, okay? But I made it 6 times as big, uh -huh. or it's cut up as much. Okay? Got it? Yeah. Feel like you understand it? Okay. Now, that's called equivalent fraction. All right? Now, the next thing they want me to do is they want me to figure out, I have the fraction 3 fourths. And they say that 3 fourths is equivalent to 6 eighths. What did I use here and here to get that? 
two. Uh huh. And two. Because remember, yeah. you have to use the same one yeah. to make it equal. Because if this was three and this was two, then this wouldn't be an equal fraction. Yeah. It has to be multiplied by the same number for it to be the same type. Yeah. You get it? Same equivalent. Yeah. Okay? So, they asked me, here's the question. By what name for one should three-fourths be multiplied to make six-eighths? Well, what name is two over two? Which equals one whole. Okay? Let's try another one. Here's what they say to me. Write a fraction that is equal to two-thirds that has a denominator of 12. What's my denominator? Two-thirds. Denominator is the three. Is like the bottom one. number. Okay. And so they're wanting me to change two-thirds okay. to be equal, but they want the denominator, instead of me cutting it into three slices and filling in two of them, they're wanting me to cut it into 12 slices. So how many will be filled in here? So help me discover what happened from here to here. I'm going to have to subtract. No, 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 no subtracting. No? No, remember these are all multiplies. But like, to see how much are in between, like 6 yeah, coming up to 12. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Now when you're working with fractions, this is what we'll do. Okay. Okay? So I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I cut my pizza or pie or whatever into three slices, we ate two of them. If I cut my pizza into 12 slices, how many did we eat based on the same equivalency? Okay, so what happened? No, it just Three be, times what equals 12? It'd be 11, wouldn't it? Okay, as I was saying, so we're trying to get from 3 to 12, and so I'm asking you, 3 times what equals 12? Uh, 3 times 4. Very good, okay? And now remember, we have to have a whole number here to get the equivalency. So what makes a whole number? Four. Four. Okay, so what you do on the bottom, you have to do on the top. Has yeah. to be the same numbers for it to be equal. Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking this three and making it four times as big and I get 12. Then mm -hmm. I'm taking this two and I'm making it four times as big. And make it eight. And eight. Okay, so if I were to look at this picture, this is what it would look like. One, two, two out of three. And this one I would cut into 12s, whatever, and so then it would end up being the same thing. You would end up filling in 8 out of 12. Yeah. Okay? Even though I'm not doing it quite right. Okay? But I'm just trying to show you quickly. You understand how we're doing it? Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Ready? Listen to this one. They want you to write a fraction that's equal to one-third, but that has a denominator of 12. So they have my fraction one-third, and they're wanting an, an equal equivalent fraction, but they want the denominator to be what? 12. Yeah. So, that's what they want it to be. So, what am I going to use here to get 12? So, pretty much the same thing we did a while ago. 3 times, three times 1 times equals 12. 4. 4. 4. Okay, 4. 1 and times 4, four is, is four. 4. So, this would look like this, 1 third, and this would be 4 out of 12. So I'm saying? What's we that count fraction 1, 2, 3, 4. What's the fraction you just drew? That I'm just pretending 12. like that's 12, yeah. Okay. Because I don't have time to figure out how to make them perfectly even. Yeah. Got it? So I filled in four of them. See that? And it looks the same. Mm -hmm. You understand? So they're still equivalent. All right? Try this one on your paper, on your own. Okay. Here's what they say. Write three-fourths as a fraction with a denominator of a hundred. We'll probably actually do this one together because this one's a little bit harder because it's a bigger number. Okay? But I want you to think about... Eli, what I want you to think about is they want mm -hmm. us to have the denominator of 100, right? So that means 100... 100 of those. Okay, but listen, so it'll be easier than drawing that all out. Be easier than that. Here's what I want you to do. Think about money. So, three Think about hundreds. Money. Think about money. I have four of what to equal... What's the numerator of this fraction? We don't know yet, right now. 
We're fixing to figure it out. By now it's three four. It'd be thirty. Almost. You're thinking. You're doing good thinking rightly. Okay. If this was a ten, Eli, mm -hmm. you would be right. Uh, okay, but wait up. So oh. listen to me. Think about money. Because anytime you have a hundred, it's easy to think about money. So that would be ninety. Close, close. Keep thinking. If this was one hundred, how many of something do we have four of to equal one hundred cents or one dollar? We'd have to divide this, wouldn't we? Yes. Yes. Be four divided. 100 divided by 4? Uh-huh. And then we could figure out by that. We could figure it out. Excellent job. So let's do that. 100 divided by 4. 4 are going to 10 2 times. 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract. Bring down. 4 will go into 20 5 times. 25? Uh-huh. So it would be 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus uh, 25. 4 of them to equal 100. Okay. So this one we had to multiply big time to go from four slices of something cut to a hundred. Yeah. So we're basically cutting this 25 times as many times. You get uh. it? Yeah. So what I want you to see is after we did that, I figured out that 25 is what we needed because you divided. Four times what equals a hundred. Yeah. Okay. So what we do down here, what do we have to do up here? We put three. Same three. one. 25. Oh, over yeah. Because we want one whole. And then what would we put over there? We put three divided by 25 two. times three. Three would be three times five. Think, think about quarters. A quarter uh, is 25. Is, I could just come up with this. Yep. What is three quarters equal? Three. 75. Very good. There we uh, go. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. So, three fourths is the same as 75 over 100. Isn't that cool? Three quarters out of four equals yeah. 75 cents out of a dollar. It's kind of mm -hmm. fun to think of money way, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you remember me telling you anything over 100? Do you remember what I talked to you about a few weeks ago? You may not remember, and that's okay. Anything what? over 100 equals what? What does that mean? If I have it over 100. Something yeah. over 100. Hundreds? Do you remember me talking about that? No. Anything over 100 means there's a percent. Remember me teaching that? No. You may not have learned that. Maybe that's later on. Anytime you get 100 it's over, it's on percent. the bottom, this can be said as 75% because this percent means per 100. Yeah. Okay? So it's just a quick, you'll learn that as you get older. It's not really that important. Okay? You think you got it? Uh-huh. All right, so let me, let's try A together on your paper by yourself, okay? I'm going to write it up here. Here's A, and here's what it says. Three-fourths times, and they put question mark over question mark, equals nine-twelfths. And they're trying to figure out what... I did this on my paper. You can't, uh-huh. They're trying to figure out what number goes there, what two numbers that are the same that make a whole number. Uh, three... How do I figure this out? Like four times what equals, equals 12. twelve? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, does that help us? If I put a 3 there, 4 times 3 is 12, and this one would have to be 3. 3, three times 3 is 9. You got it right. So, you chose the same number that would work to make this one equal. Do you see? Yeah. So, the answer would be this. 3 thirds. Okay? That is lesson 79.